Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we are actually going to have our royal wedding of Willow Creek. And I know that in the last episode I said I probably wasn't going to rush into it too much. Um, but I want to have the wedding because King George wants to see his daughter get married before he passes away. And if you saw the last episode, her mother, Queen Isabel, just passed away, unfortunately. That was completely unexpected. So now King George is worried that he's going to pass away sometime soon as well. So he wants to see his daughter get married before he does. So we've set up this nice wedding venue at Willow Creek. And it was since this is kind of like technically a last minute wedding, um, sort of like, I don't know, like they just brought in like all of their crew and everyone, like all of the royal helpers to um, help build this wedding venue in Willow Creek. So we are going to have, um, so she is just freshening up. Everyone is still a little bit sad because of her mother passing away. Um, and it looks like, oh, it looks like King Jared of Brindleton Bay is saying that he heard about the passing of, oh, this is so sad. Oh, I heard you got engaged. Oh, okay, so that was some other congratulations. Um, so we are going to have her plan this social event, and I'm pretty sure Princess Cora knows enough people, like, enough of the important people we want to invite anyway. Um, so she will invite people from Willow Creek and also from Windenburg to the wedding. So we're going to have as much of the families as we can at the wedding. Um, this is definitely exciting. I was not expecting her to get married this quickly and to leave us so soon. So we're definitely going to have to keep going back and playing with Princess Cora as much as possible because I love her. She's one of my favorite Sims so far. So we are going to do our wedding. Um, it looks like we've already had a gold wedding before. And then we are going to obviously the bride and groom and then our guests. So we want King George, Prince Henry, Princess Alice, Princess Anna, King Jared, Prince Adrian, we want Queen Arya. Oh, do we want Queen Arya? Yeah, we do. We do. Um, it's King Easton, because that's her that's their aunt. Um, so she wants to see her her niece get married. Um, and then we also want definitely not Judith Ward. Why she has a good relationship with Judith Ward, really? That's interesting. She shouldn't. Um, okay, then we want King Derek. Obviously, that would be her new father in law, Queen Elena, her mother in law, or soon to be on the mother in law. Um, we probably won't invite Sir Javin, um, but Sir Franklin and Sir Matthew are her cousins, so we will invite her. Oh, and her aunt, Marquis Eliza, that's like her favorite aunt, um, so we'll invite her as well. Can we invite anyone else? We can. Um, I guess we could invite Sir Peter. Um, is there anyone else we want to invite? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so I guess we will invite Sir Peter. And Lady Lindsay's her friend, um, and then... Okay, yeah, that's it. That's enough people. That is a lot. Uh, so then we're going to have our uh, caterer. It looks like all the caterers we've used for the caterers that have cooking skill are, are, are part of the royal family. So we don't want to invite them. Um, the mixologist and the musician for sure because there is a nice, I think there's a piano at the venue. Um, and then there is, of course, the bar there as well. So we're going to have uh, the ve the wedding at the Magnolia Wedding Venue. So I downloaded this from the gallery, and I will link it in the description as well. So I am excited. We are going to go ahead to our wedding now. So here we are at our winter wedding, apparently. I had no idea that it was snowing. So everyone is dressed up. Hopefully no one gets too cold. But this is our wedding venue, and it looks actually very beautiful in the snow. Um, so it is outdoors, it looks like. So we, like, but yeah, there's no walls, there's no ceilings, no nothing. Um, so this is what the king and queen of Willow Creek, they decided to build. Um, and they decided to build this because it was, like, so last minute, and they know that they wanted to have the wedding before King George of Windenburg passed away. So are all of, like, our... Our chairs covered in snow. Is that is that what is happening? I think that's what's happening. Oh gosh, that's not good. Okay, so we. I wonder. I'm pretty sure they could still sit in it though. So we're gonna have them go ahead and get married first. So get married to Prince Edmund is our top priority. We know that everyone is still kind of sad. It looks like Princess Anna and everyone is still pretty sad. So that's not a huge Princess Alice an emotion bomb. No, there's no way she is not an emotion bomb type of gal. Okay, so we are running right now to our, um, our, our, what's it called? Oh, our wedding arch. Um, and then, oh, it looks like everyone else is sad. That's so upsetting. 
Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So here we go with the wedding. And there they are getting married. Oh, guys, they're so cute. I'm excited. I'm super excited about this. I'm so excited they got to get married before her father passed away, too. So that's what I was really worried about. Um, I had to be that close because this lady was just standing right there. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing? Because if you saw when King Jared and Queen Nina got married, this lady was just standing right there. It was so irritating. I could not get her to move. Um, so I just want them to do like a, a really nice kiss, like a passionate kiss or something like that. Can we do that? Um, a passionate kiss. There we go. Um, and just, oh gosh, they're, they're uh, this is beautiful. This view right now is amazing, except for this lady right here, but I mean, you know. Um, so they are, I love just like the lights with the trees in the background. It's seriously like a gorgeous winter wonderland wedding. Um, and I am so excited about this. I think that this is definitely like a really ideal place to get married. This literally, I was not even thinking about a winter wonderland wedding. Um, I'm just really excited that we got to do that. So yay. So we are just going to check on the other guests. So it looks like Princess Alice, she's really sad because of her mother-in-law as well. Um, but she's very close to giving birth, so we'll see if she actually ends up giving birth by the end of this episode or not. Um, but if not, we'll definitely focus on that in the next episode. We also have, so obviously our prince, soon-to-be king, is here. And Lady Lindsay is here too. Um, so they're just chatting with her. Lady Lindsay is most likely going to be the queen of Oasis Springs because she kind of has a thing with Prince, uh, prince Adrian of Oasis Springs. Um, and then we have Queen Elena who is here. So that is now Princess Cora's mother-in-law. And then we have her favorite aunt, Marquis Eliza, is here. Um, and her father-in-law, King Derek, is here as well. So I think she's just going to thank them for coming. It looks like it's getting pretty dark right now. Um, we still have a lot of time for the wedding. Um, so they're going to do that. We have, it doesn't look like there's too much lights up here. Um, but we do have our other guests are up. Oh, yeah. Well, we already saw them. Um, so we had Queen uh, Arya is up here. And then we have, of course, Princess Alice is up here. Um, and then I thought this was a dance floor, but I guess it's not. I think it's a, it's just a rug. Oh, okay, there's our lighting. I was like, um, it's really dark up here. Uh, so we have now is King Jared of Brindleton Bay. So he's a new king, and his wife will be having a baby very soon. We have Prince Adrian up here, and we have King um, Easton is up here as well. So I don't know if he has forgiven King Jared now. I'm going to have to get used to calling him King Jared because I kept calling him Prince Jared before since he was just the Prince of Oasis Springs. Look at the lights, guys. It's like pink. It's really pretty. Um, so yeah, it looks like everyone's just hanging out up here. I don't know where our caterer is, but he is supposed to make us a wedding cake. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. Did they already dig into the wedding cake? No. Did they? Where's the cake? I think they might have. I don't see the cake though. So I don't, I don't think so. Um, but it looks like they're eating a cake. Okay. I would like to adult now. Um, you will always be my baby because you're the youngest. Oh no, it looks like Princess Anna already fell out of the responsibility trait just from that. That's great. Okay, how is she doing on her um, manners and stuff? Looks like she still has, well, now we have to bring her back into the responsibility trait. Conflict, conflict resolution's okay, empathy's okay, and emotional control is okay. She's definitely not going to do as well as her sister. Her sister has just like a ton of responsibility and manners and empathy and all of that. So probably not going to do as well, but that's fine. Um, but she's going to be an adult and a young adult in seven days. So that'll be a big deal. She still has to kind of figure out what she's doing. Um, and then she checked back in with Princess Cora. Looks like she's just hanging out with everyone. Of course, her husband now, Prince Edmund. So we're going to have to change Princess Cora's last name to Willow. Um, so she's just getting along very well with her husband. Um, and they are talking to now her father-in-law. And you can see all the snow coming down too. It is really beautiful. This is just like, oh, it's a beautiful winter wedding. I didn't even have this in mind, but it's the first day of winter already. So it just worked out perfectly. Um, it doesn't look like there's any kids here. We don't know there's too many kids. 
So that's interesting. Usually sometimes at the weddings we'll have like a good amount of kids, but not in this one. Um, okay, Princess Alice, if you have to use the restroom, it's literally right here. So you can go. Um, why don't you use that? Um, but I think, I don't know why it's taking so long for the wedding. This just feels like a really long time. Uh, but I don't know where our caterer is. I don't know where our wedding cake... Oh, okay, there's the caterer. She's making the wedding cake now, so that's good. Um, I was a little bit worried. I didn't know if we were going to have a cake or not. So it looks like they're doing pretty well. Um, and then, of course, uh, yeah, Princess Cora is talking to her guests. Princess Anna, she's still really, really sad, so that's not good. She's still mourning um, the death of her mother. So we will probably end up having a funeral pretty soon. I just, oh gosh, I really hope King George gets to see his second grandchild be born. I really, really hope he does. Um, because I don't want him to pass away before that happens. Oh, this is so sad. He's a widower now. This is so sad. I miss Queen Isabel already. I mean, she was just amazing. She was a great queen. Um, and I'm really, I'm really sad that she has already passed away. Uh, but it looks like, why is, what? There's like a somewhat romantic relationship with King Easton. I think I've seen that before. I just like always forget about it. And then we have Queen Isabel, of course. Um, and then we have, uh, who else is here? So, uh, Princess Anna's, I don't know if they're officially dating, but we have Sir Dare. Oh gosh, she has like a slight romantic relationship with Prince Edmund. She should probably tell him like it's not going to happen, um, especially since he just married his sister. So I'm going to send Sir Derek a sad text. It doesn't look like they're officially dating yet. I think I was just still trying to keep her options open for um, a husband. So we'll, we will have to see. Why is she, she had, oh gosh, does that mean she doesn't like them? I don't know what that means when the, ah, uh, wait. No, she, she's like crossing, crossing out his wife, not thinking about his wife, not thinking about his, his dad. That doesn't make any sense to me. If anyone knows what that means, please tell me. Or if you have a theory, I would love to know as well. Um, so is our cake ready yet? Looks like the cake is ready. Um, that doesn't really look like a wedding cake, but that's fine. So we are going to add a wedding topper. What, is, what kind of cake is this? A sugar-free Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess Princess Cora honestly seems like the type of me, type of person to me to be like sugar-free, vegan, dairy-free, all of that stuff. So um, maybe that is what she requested of the caterer. So it doesn't look very fancy, but it's a cake, so that's fine. So we are going to have her put the wedding cake topper on, and then she can cut into the cake with her now husband. It's so weird to say. Um, so she's going to do that. Wait, she literally like, put on the wedding cake topper and then takes it off just to cut into the cake. So that's fine. Okay, yay! So she is grabbing the cake and bringing it to her husband. Um, and then it looks like we've pretty much fulfilled everything we need to for the wedding. We just have to also, I guess, order some drinks. But I don't think that's too necessary. I think people are already ordering drinks at the bar anyway, so I don't know why. That is happening. We don't even have like bar stools or anything like that. But it looks like King or Prince Henry just helped himself to some cake. Oh my gosh, Princess Alice, did you wet yourself? <gasps> oh no! Okay, this is embarrassing. I think we need to end the video here. This is not good. Um, so it looks like she is just so I don't know. So it's probably the pregnancy. We're gonna blame it on the pregnancy. I'm gonna end this video here for Princess Alice's sake. So in the next episode, we will be having our babies. Hopefully, we will have both Princess Alice's and Queen Nina's babies as well. I hope you guys enjoy this with the wedding, especially like the winter wedding. Um, but don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and we will see you guys the next episode.